Good day, folks. Hope everyone's doing fine out there in Styrene Land. Alright, so I guess um, most of you probably know there's a box stock build going on out there. Um, I think uh, DJ Scratchy and Chevy Cheeseburger. So, um, didn't have a kit, but. Um, I was able to uh, secure a kit, so I think I'll be joining in if it's not too late. If it is, oh well. Um, I've always wanted to do this kit anyways, um, and I wanted to do it box stock um, as the first build. And eventually, if I get another copy of this kit, you know, later on down the road. Um, but I think um, this kit is one that... Uh, to build a um, box stock is probably, you know, the way it should be done. Uh, so the one I had picked is the um, the Smokey and a Bandit um, 1977 Pontiac Firebird. Now I actually had one of these cars, the exact same one, well, almost. It was a 1977, except uh, mine was blue. Um, and it was a great car, <laughs> the 6.6 .6 liter. Um, unfortunately, the one I had um, was pretty beat by the time I acquired it. It was my brother's, um, but it still had balls out power, and uh, I just loved the way it felt when you're um, in the, the driver's seat. Um, it, it just felt like you were sitting on the ground. Um, it almost felt like a go-kart. <laughs> um, uh, boy, I love that car, man. You could just hammer it down and phew, that thing would go. So, um, I've always wanted to build this kit now. Um, I know there's a couple other versions of this. There's the, the 1978 3-in-1. Um, um, but this is this is the official Smoking and Bandit one. Um, that other kit, I know it comes with like a dual quad setup and you can make it like a drag car more choices but um, I just um, decided to go with this one so um, this is the kit I'll be building um, doing out of box or box stock rather so uh, let's say uh, we take the plastic off this thing um, as you see it is still sealed I just uh, just picked it up actually yesterday so it's or Saturday or Sunday. Yep, yeah, yesterday Sunday. So um, uh, my brother had asked me um, if I could watch the dogs while they go on a, a short holiday. Um, so I said sure, and left me some money for food. So rather than buying food, I went to the hobby store <laughs> and then went to Taco Bell and got a couple burritos for five bucks. <laughs> Taco, you know, I figure out well, you know, what's more important, getting a kit or eating? Well, able to do both, you know, because, you know, instead of going to like a nice Mexican restaurant, which is my favorite food, um, I thought, well, heck, I might as well just get a couple, you know, 99 cent burritos, 99 cent taco, and a large water, and go to Hobby Star, pick up a kit, and I also got, uh, some paint, um, but I'll show uh, you know, some of the other hobby store items I got. So, all right, stay tuned, um, and uh, I'm gonna set up the camera here, and uh, we'll open this up, and I'll show you some of the other things I got. And yeah, um, I need to shave. And I didn't take my razor with me, so, but oh well, I. Uh, I want to get going on this kit here, so. All right. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and open it up. So another thing I got, um, treated myself to a fresh jar of uh, some Tamiya Extra Thin. Uh, you won't be able to see it, but my other bottle kind of got a little roached out. Got a little dirty because um, applying glue when I already primed the body. So, but it'll still get used. 
Um, what else did I do? Got a nice uh, fresh pack of blades. Um, let's see, got me some colors. Uh, what you got here? Picked up some uh, Model Masters Acryl, the GM slash Ford um, Engine Blue. And then uh, just got some flat black. Um, some, well, I didn't get flat black because they were out of it, which sucks. Um, but I did pick up a semi gloss and a gloss um, black. And then I also picked up this uh, Tamiya Smoke. Got some of that. Um, I think I'm going to try doing the um, the T tops with that. Just see how it turns out. So, all right. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I still got a little extra money left too, so um, I still need to get a uh, thing of flip black. But um, you know, a lot of my money's been going into my model railroad. Um, which I shot the video. I just need to go ahead and edit it. So uh, yeah, let's see what's inside this thing. Just to show that it is new, as you've seen, I opened up the um, uh, took the plastic off again. This is Smokey and a Bandit 77 Pontiac Firebird. So, yeah, I love that body. So, um, I'm not gonna go through it all um, right now, I'll just show you that everything is. It's still sealed. Um, thing's got a lot of nice parts, I know. Uh, and got some uh, the tires, some screws. Uh, looks like the axle rod. Instructions. And uh, the decal sheet. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that it'd have that in there, but uh, all the the pinstriping, the gold pinstriping. Oh, I didn't know that either. That there's a um, got the instrument cluster. Since it is um, box stock, we'll have to use that. Then, of course, got the license plate Ban One. And then uh, the Georgia, I believe that is right. The Georgia flag, state flag. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll put that in plastic bag. So all right, so stay tuned. Um, I did notice one thing uh, watching videos that the, um, I think the rear tail lights on this are somehow are done in chrome. Maybe this kit doesn't have that. I'll have to look closely or more close. But yeah, there's a lot of nice parts on this. Now mine, um, my uh, the instrument cluster had like that 70s shimmery type sticky tape on there. I don't know how to explain it. It was like little squares with like diamond type thing in it. It was like a really weird, um, a real weird, uh, sticker that went over the instrument cluster but um, this doesn't have that in it and since this is box stock um, this one won't have it but that's what I was saying I eventually gonna want to get another copy of this kit and I'm gonna build it like the one I had and this one's gonna be the bandit so alright folks um, stay tuned uh, for some build videos. Um, hopefully I'm going to put up maybe one or two a week. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the engine and after I get that all done um, I'll post an update. So, <clears throat> Alright so I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's builds uh, with this box stock uh, just for fun um, build. Now I know I think they said there's like 44 um, people, 45 people um, but apparently I'm only 
a subscriber to about five or six because that's the only unless they're not putting up build videos the other folks I don't know because um, I haven't seen them yet um, but I do have to get caught up uh, like I said I was over at my brother's house for the weekend and I didn't really go on a computer much over there um, it was kind of just farting around uh, so I'm gonna have to hopefully there's gonna be a list of all the builders and then I can subscribe to their channels and hopefully they'll subscribe to mine um, like I said I think I only seen five or six um, contest or not contest entries but build entries so alright um, that's it for now like I said I'll be uh, posting some updates I'm gonna get going on the engine here and uh, you know get everything cleaned up and uh, and get building. So, alright, um, until next time, remember, be kind to one another and keep the glue on the styrene.